Hey guys, how you doing? It is the Honeydew Carpenter and I'm back. I have a great one for you guys today. Our channel is all about lightweight concrete or aircrete and the things that we can use it for to make the world a better place. Okay, last week I showed you guys how you could create a aircrete through the wall insulated system that allow you to put a heating apparatus in any building of your choice, in a shop, a shed, a garage. For 20 bucks, the system I showed you last week replaces systems that literally cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Aircrete has awesome thermal properties that just make it the perfect thing for that application. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a under $50 weekend project that will literally save you hundreds of dollars. My sincere goal of doing these projects is to showcase the simplicity of them. Now, they may look complicated, but they're really not. Once you learn just one or two simple skills, it'll open up a whole new world to you. This one little skill that I showcased last week of just squaring and fastening a $3 sheet metal stud that you can get at your Home Depot and putting it together in a square configuration is one such skill. Another simple skill is just learning how to mix up a batch of this lightweight aircrete in preparation to pour it into a form. And today we're working on this, a cooled and heated aircrete insulated doghouse. Mrs. Honeydew and I built this in one weekend for less than 50 bucks and we had a ton of fun doing it. So now if you love your pets like our family does then you should just keep watching this video. Now the only products that I could find online that were even remotely comparable to this were anywhere from $700 on up into the thousands of dollars. So let's get started and I'll go ahead and show you how simple and easy this process is. Now for the front and back panels, I just put the measurements on, pulled the back panel up to it, and measured it identically the same. After that, all I had to do was go and just snip right where the lines were on both sides of the stud. And then this project almost immediately, within five minutes, started taking shape. And you can just, right in front of your eyes, see it coming together. Now, building this first panel, having never done it before, took me about 15 minutes. Now, I chose to go ahead and spot weld the corners, uh, but it, regardless of how you do it, whether you clamp it with your vice grips and drill it and pop rivet it, or whether you clamp it with your vice grips and run a self tap or screw through it, it would all work out the exact same way. And so, it literally only took me about 15 minutes to create this first panel. Now, there's no doubt that using a spot welder sped up the process. It really only took me about an hour to make both front and back panels, the side panels and the roof panels uh, forms using the sheet metal studs. Now, let's go ahead and make the archway for the door on the front panel. This is a really simple process. It was 14 inches wide, so it had a seven inch radius. So half the circumference of that circle would be 22 inches. I wanted to have a certain height on the door, and I determined that I needed four additional inches on each side. So I cut a piece of the sheet metal stud at 30 inches. All I did at this point was measure in four inches on each side and then I just simply laid out marks every inch and a half between those four inch marks uh, to get my cut points for the archway. And once I got all my cut points cut out, it's just like magic, bam, I love sheet metal. You just fold it into a perfect circle and then uh, attach it to your form. And so there's the basic form with the door for the front end of the doghouse. What are you doing? Oh, 
Now you're in the doghouse. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> okay, so anyways, in order to prep the forms to be poured, all you have to do is just lay them down on a piece of bisqueen, and then you just take your scissors and cut the bisqueen around. And around the archway, because it's a circle, you'll have to put some relief cuts, and then you just tape it up the side. Mrs. Honeydew and I decided to go ahead and put some uh, rabbit wire or some reinforcement mesh in before we poured them. And so we just cut that to shape and dropped it in. So the next thing you're going to do to prepare for it is just mix up your mix, your wall panel mix design, inject your foam into it, and then I use a, a big drill with an auger to go ahead and mix my uh, slurry up. So once your slurry is all homogeneous and evenly mixed up, you go ahead and you commence to pouring. And this is kind of the fun part. You just get to pour it and give it a jiggle and watch it level out and you just let it sit, you know, 12 hours or so until it has a skin on it. And then I typically will put a tarp or uh, another piece of bisqueen over it to keep the moisture in while it cures for a couple of days. So in order to make aircrete, you're going to have to have a foam generator, a foam mate makes a really high quality shaving cream consistency like foam. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, be sure and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications. And hey, if you want to follow along with some of these projects, maybe build your dog a dog house that'll keep them warm in the winter and cool in the summer, uh, go to our Etsy store and check out the foam mate. Uh, I'll build one for you and send it out to you or we also have a do-it-yourself PDF on there that you can check out as well. The foam mate is bar none makes the best foam of any small scale foam generator I've ever seen. <laughs> At this point we're just going to go ahead and pour the rest of the panels for our Aircrete doghouse. We just mix up our mixture uh, set up our forms. These are just the kind of square forms or rectangle and they're really simple so I'm not going to showcase them. They're just similar to the others. You just do square corners on it. Screed them off and just make them look really nice and bam there you go. So now we're just going to commence putting this thing together after I leveled out a spot where we chose to put the Aircrete doghouse, I commenced to just prepping the cured out panels. By pulling the bisqueen off of them, uh, Mrs. Honeydew helped me unload the remainder of the panels and take them over. And we stripped them of their bisqueen as well. One thing you got to be careful of, there's always a little bit of slag or just some aircrete left over on the panel and you just have to scrape it off so that when your panels go together they sit nice and flush. Um, I ended up actually using some expansion foam out of a can on, in the corner units just to kind of seal them up. You can go ahead and attach your panels together any way you like. I did kind of a shoelace system where I put some self tappers in and just took some really fine gauge wire and kind of shoelaced them together. After that, I went ahead and finished tightening down the uh, self tappers that I put in to shoelace them together. You guys can see how light these panels are. I mean, if those were hardened concrete, 140, 150 pounds a cubic foot, those panels would weigh hundreds of pounds. I went ahead and just took some uh, scrap pieces of that uh, sheet metal studs and spanned the gap between the wall panels, the side wall panels, and the gable ends just to make a nice transition there. On the roof panels, I fastened them together at the top 
in a similar fashion. If I were to do this again, I would go ahead and maybe put an angle on the roof so they just met at a good 45 degree angle. But I actually wanted to have some kind of a roof vent on it because up in the corners where it spans that gap, I filled those as well with uh, an expansion foam out of a can. Okay guys, to finish the ridge vent system, I just ended up taking a three inch cylinder a uh, piece of uh, PVC conduit and I just drilled holes in it and then laid it across right in that gap. I used some commercial uh, PVC roofing to go over the top. The PVC roofing that I used was just salvaged uh, out of a dumpster. It was just a scrap off of a commercial roofing job that I got from somebody. And so it didn't end up costing me any money. The way I heat this thing in the winter is just with a, a heat lamp. And you can stick it on an inline thermostat that if it gets, you know, below 50 degrees or whatever, the lamp will come on. And it worked fabulously. And in the summertime, when you want to cool it, you just spray the thing down. And we have about a five mile an hour prevailing wind. And as it, the water evaporates out of the wet down cement, it just keeps it about 17 degrees cooler inside that thing. It's absolutely amazing. At this point, all I did was stretch the PVC roofing over the top. I cut it to the exact shape and then just screwed it down in place. And this has been a really amazing doghouse. It's been through a complete winter freeze thaw cycle and Sadie absolutely loves it. Hey y'all, be uh, sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications, and I will catch you on the next one.